going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add fast flickers in Sony Vegas. Now the video I'm doing this effect on is a video of me recording my iPhone 6, and the music I use is known as Kicks and Snares, I'll probably pronounce this wrong, Polyesia track music. Now a link to it will be in the description. Now when you open up Sony Vegas this is exactly what you need to do. You need to put your music down, you need to put your video down and then insert a video track above your video. This is where the black bars will be or the black flashes will be. Now the orange markers you're seeing on the screen are very useful and I recommend you use them as well. They're known as markers and for example in between 10 and 11 that's when I'll be putting in black flashes. However, between 11 and 12, the flashes get faster. So that lets me know I should change it up. And the same applies up here. So 13 and 14, there's more flashes. And then 15 to 17, there's more flashes. So to lay down a marker, you just select anywhere on your video. So where the snares start, for example, press M on your keyboard, and then you lay one down. And then just go across, press M on your keyboard again, you lay down another one just like that. And that marks out where we want to put some black flashes. Now if you made a mistake, you can just right click them and select delete. And now let's get into making the black flashes. So we need to head over to media generators. If you do not see it, simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. Once you're on media generators, come all the way down until you see solid color. And we will be adding on black. So just drag and drop. And you can X out of this. And we're just going to position it down in between 10 to 11. Now for this one, we're going to be going across two keyframes. Now the way you can do this, you can press the right arrow key twice, or you can come here and go one, two, and that is also two frames. Now press S on your keyboard to split, and the remaining here we can delete, just like that. Now with this one right here, all we're going to do is come to the top corner of it, make sure you see this, and it should see it fade out. Just drag it to the left, and that's what we want. And that is one flicker done. So now what I recommend doing is holding or pressing control C and because we already have a marker laid out up to 11 we're just going to press control V to paste it all the way up to 11. So if I press control V this is what we're going to get. All we need to do is select OK. So we're going to do this all the way up to 11. And there we go as you can see I've got to 11 now and in between 11 to 12, this is where the black flashes get quicker. So this time, what I'm doing is making the black flash one frame, leave one frame space, and then another black flash. So this will make sense when I do it now. So again, we're going to add black on, and we can X out of this, and we're just going to shorten it down again. Now you'll notice something before we go further. This has lost its fade, and we literally cannot get it back, and this is a bit of a problem in Sony Vegas. But to counter this, just right click, insert a new video track, put this track above, and just add it back on. And now it's back to normal. So now we're doing one frame. So we're going to press right on our keyboard, press S, and delete the remaining. Now this will make the black flashes quicker, and we're going to add that fade. And this time, press Ctrl C on this one, come to the edge of it, press right on your keyboard, and now paste and OK. And again, we're doing all the way up to 12. OK, there we go. As you can see, if I paste one more time, it'll go past 12 where no snares are. That's OK, we can just leave it there and it'll still look good. Now this first part is done. Now what I recommend doing as well is lowering the opacity over here to 95. I'd say stick between 90 to 95 and same for the top track because of course we did put a black flash up here as well. And now, as you can see this one's messed up as well so we'll just put that up here. Now we just need to check that everything's okay. Looks like everything's good so we can play it through. And there we go, that is part one created from here to there. And it didn't look the best because uh, I don't have a lot of RAM on this PC and it's a bit laggy. However, the video you saw at the start will be this video I'm creating for you right now. So you'll see it does look good in the end. So now we come further up to 13 to 14 and this time there's just three 
like gunshots, I believe. Uh, just three flashes or three snares instead. So for this one, we're going to be taking up two frames. And so we're dragging on the black and we're just going to shorten it down. So this time it's two frames. So one, two, S, one, two, S, one, two, S. And we can delete the remaining. So we're just going to add the fade out on all of them like so. And we're going to copy and paste it to the end. There we go, we'll leave it like that and let's just play through it. There we go, it gives us that little... Uh, there we go, you can see it does go well. Although there is like, it looks like three snares I hear, there's actually more snares than it looks like. So, as you can see that goes well with it. And then we come up here, 15 to 16. Now for this one, I'm actually going to be using up four frames for each flash. The reason for this, I believe this one is the gunshot, so... Yep, it's the gunshot. So I'm going to add on the black and I'm going to out this and we can just shorten this down. So four frames. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to press S on my keyboard, delete the remaining on the side up here and we can zoom in, just drag this back and now control C, control V on number one because that's where another gunshot is and then control V on number two because that's where the last gunshot is. So we can OK on that and if we play this part through. It gives us that little flash effects there. And the final one we have to do is 17 to 18. This is where a bunch of flashes are. Now for this one, as you can see, it's pretty fast uh, snares here. So we're going to be using or copy and pasting the snares or the flashes we've done right at the start. So I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to hold a shift and then select the end one. And now from here, I'm going to press control C. I'm going to come to the end up to 17 and press control V. Okay, and now we can't paste this straight away, otherwise there won't be a gap here. So you're going to go one keyframe to the right and then paste. Okay, again, one keyframe to the right, paste. Okay, and we can delete the ones that went too far. So let's play through it one more time. And again, mine's on preview and auto, so it might not look the best, but the rendered version was shown at the start of this video. Anyway, let's play it. And that is it. We've just created the fast flicker effect in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.